Trackers of Faith, featuring Duke and Luke, the Barn Brothers, Penny, the cold cracking tech savvy gal who is quick on her feet, Walker, the big hearted handyman who uses his mechanical know how to lend a helping hand, Jenny, the fun loving biblical brains of the operation, and Milton. This super sassy swine has been fitted with the latest in animal communication technology. Join this crew of high-tech heroes as they sow truth, know truth, and grow truth. Tractors of Faith! Hey y'all, are you ready to hang out and talk about what we've been learning in the Bible this week? Yep. Ever since we started doing this a few weeks ago, I've learned so much from you guys. You've really helped me begin to understand how God wants to use my life to serve his kingdom. I'm ready too. I just read this awesome story that I can't wait to share with you guys. Let's hear it, brother. Okay. Well, I was reading in the book of Matthew and I came upon something really crazy. Remember all those Old Testament stories we visited? Well, Moses and Elijah showed up again here in the Gospel of Jesus. The Bible called it the Transfiguration. But Jesus was alive long after Moses and Elijah died. How is that even possible? Some tells me that what seems impossible to us is possible with God. Should we check it out? Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. Get up. Don't be afraid. Don't tell anyone what you have seen until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. Thanks for going back with me, you guys. That was really something. Did you guys notice what God said? This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him? Yeah. It sounded a lot like what God said at Jesus' baptism. One thing we learned when we were traveling to the Old Testament was that the people of the Old Testament believed that Moses and Elijah were a really big deal. They had heard story after story about both of them. They were the legends of God's big story. It seems like God was saying that when Moses and Elijah and Jesus all stand together, Jesus is the most important. The people of the Old Testament would have been tempted to be starstruck by Moses and Elijah, but God wanted all the spotlight on Jesus. When Jesus died on the cross, it meant that we would have unconditional love and can have eternal life. God was basically saying that from now on, Jesus was the one to listen to and trust. It's almost time to enact the plan. Yes, yes. Soon we'll have that flashlight and we'll be able to go back in time and create a world without rules. No one will be able to tell us how to live or who to be. <laughs> <laughs>